Hi, and welcome back to 5 Secrets to Living a Healthier Life. It's been two weeks since we started this journey, and today I'm going to provide you with the key secret for improving your health and, in my opinion, any area of your life. If you feel like you've set out a great plan and have an awesome goal in mind, you just might not have what it takes to get moving. So this is the podcast where I will tell you exactly what you need to do so. So stick with me on this one from start to finish. Before we dive in though, like last week, I want to check in on you since I shared with you secret number two, set your course. Are you confident in the design of the course you've laid out for yourself? Or do you feel like you're running into a bunch of roadblocks along the way and you're just not sure how to push them out of the way? If so, don't forget that we have an event on July 29th that will get you right where you need to be to keep you on track towards your healthier life. We will solve the biggest problems keeping you from reaching your ultimate destination and will transform your entire approach to living healthy so that you can control your stress level, increase your happiness, and rediscover the joy in your life. So before you start secret number three, take less than 60 seconds to reserve your seat. Literally that's all the time it takes. You can visit our website www.mymetromedicine.com and click on the event titled How to Maintain Balance at the top of the page. Become one of the lucky ones that will make it to a stage of confident transition towards living your healthier life. I'll even pause for you right now until you come back. Go ahead, I'll be waiting. Great, I look forward to seeing you on July 29th. Now, let's move on to the third secret. Hi there, Justin here once again to talk with you about the five secrets to living a healthier life. I'm really glad you're back here with me again today on this journey because this week's podcast is not only going to be exciting, it's going to be extremely insightful for you personally. How do I know? Because I've done this with myself, I don't even know how many times, and I've done this with others countless times as well, and I've witnessed some magnificent changes not only in myself but in those that I've shared this with and especially in what they accomplished by putting their mind towards it. In the first two secrets, you prepared yourself for your journey. You chose your ultimate destination, you set your course, and now there is one thing left to do before you can actually move forward to start your journey towards living a healthier life on solid footing, on a road of nothing other than determination for success and fulfillment. If you feel confident in completing the first two secrets and implementing them into your life, then you are absolutely ready to move ahead full speed. If you feel you need a little more guidance before moving on to this next part of your journey, please send me an email or you can call me directly from the information on my website, www.mymetromedicine.com, and I'll get in touch with you within 24 hours. And guess what? I'll even do it free of charge. Why? because I want you to succeed. I want you to be on your way to living the healthy life you've prepared for yourself up to this point. If you have any second guessing going on, don't take another step and reach out to me right now. I want you to be absolutely sure that your footing is solid and that you are 110% ready to move forward. So, you might be asking yourself, what are we gonna be talking about this time? What could possibly be so exciting or insightful about this next secret I'm about to reveal to you? Well, let me allow you in on a pre-secret secret. This next step defines the reason you take every action and make every decision in your life at this moment, right now. It is your compass. It is your north star. It is your constant reminder in life that you're doing what you're supposed to. So. Let me reveal to you right now before I go any further. This week's secret is fuel up. Now you're probably saying fuel up? What the heck does that have to do with anything? What does fuel up even mean? And what is this crazy guy even talking about? Let's think about this for a second. In secret number one, you chose your ultimate destination by envisioning what your healthier life looks and feels like. In secret number two, you created a clear path
path by setting your course and you laid out exactly the steps you need to take to reach your ultimate destination. Now, before you decide to get up and go, you better understand what it is that actually gives you the fuel to keep you going on this journey. Because if you don't, there is absolutely no way you can arrive at your ultimate destination. You will lack the motivation. You will lack the willpower. You will question yourself and start listening to the doubting voices in your head that say to you, why are you doing this? This was a stupid idea. You never should have thought you could do something like this. You might as well quit right now. Have you ever had these thoughts run through your brain when you tried something new that you thought was really exciting at first, but then out of nowhere you lost all motivation to continue it? Well, you're not alone. This happens to most people. But not this time. Not to you. You have started with a clear destination, laid out a clear path, and now you're going to find a clear driver of motivation. A clear purpose for why you are making this choice. A clear understanding of your decisions that led you to this point right now. A point of massive transformation that will completely turn your health around and maybe even your life. So, I have one question I want to ask you. It is a question I frequently ask and re-ask myself, and it is one that I use with my patients, I use it with my clients, my students, my friends, and even with my family. I'm not asking it because I want you to give me an answer right away too, but rather, I want you to ponder the answer in great depth to see what comes up for you. Here's the question. What is it that gets you out of bed every single morning? What is it that gives you the energy to sit up on the edge of your bed and plant your feet on the floor beneath you and take your first step into the day ahead? Well, I guess that was more than one question, but I think you can see where I'm going with this. So let's get all the sarcasm out of the way first, because I know where that comes from, and let's try to get down to the root of it all. If you said alarm clock, or work, or your kids, then take a second, put those answers aside, get the giggles out, get the laughs out, and let's look a little bit deeper. Much deeper, actually. What about those things led you to getting out of bed each morning? Because, let's be real, you don't have to. What I mean is, you don't have to get out of bed every morning. You could just lie in bed knowing that the world would continue to spin around without your daily involvement or even your mundane ritual-like routine that you conduct each day that has led to nothing but boredom and daily repetition. Essentially, this question is asking you what is your life's purpose? What is driving you forward not only each day or each morning when you get out of bed, but in each moment of your life? What or who are you living your life for? For the sake of whom do you make each decision that is part of your life? Who is depending on you, whether they know it or not? Have you ever asked yourself these questions? I tell you what, most people don't. They look right past them as being these kind of questions that say, okay, let's examine my feelings or let's open my heart to the world and love everyone so we can live in peace and harmony. That is by no means what I am asking you to do here. By asking these questions, you are assuring yourself that there is a definite purpose for every action you are about to take, and there is actually a team of individuals behind the reason you made your choice of your ultimate destination and why you set your course. So is the fuel you are about to fill your tank up with one that consists of dissatisfaction with your current state? Or does it consist of your drive to become the new you and to reach your ultimate destination? Is it driven by your children's future and your connection you have with them being a mom or a dad or by just being a good role model for them? What impact will your reaching your ultimate destination have on your life's purpose? This is a reciprocal process because your accomplishments feed your life's purpose. Let me say that again. Your accomplishments feed your life's purpose. If you're not accomplishing anything in your life because you're not following through, there is no way your life purpose will become clearer, let alone grow stronger in your heart and in your mind. 
you must examine what is the driving force for you being here with me right now on your road to your healthier life because I can guarantee you if you look deep enough you'll find that it is much more than just losing or gaining a few extra pounds or changing your diet or preventing a particular disease I can probably even go as far as saying I guarantee you that it is not even connected to your health but deep down inside you know the reason you are here is that a healthier life will change your life in ways you have only dreamed of in the past let me end with a few parts of one song in a movie that my children and I love and have watched countless times it has become the new road trip soundtrack for us and we all love it every time we get in the car the lyrics of this song to me sum up everything that I'm sharing with you in today's podcast they were written beautifully and they were sung even more beautifully in the movie. I highly recommend you listen to the whole song and watch the whole movie if you have the time. The lyrics come from the Disney movie Moana, and the song is, I am Moana. Who am I? I am the girl who loves my island. I am the girl who loves the sea. It calls me. I've delivered us to where we are. I have journeyed farther. I am everything I've learned and more. Still, it calls me. And the call isn't out there at all. It's inside me. It's like the tide, always falling and rising. I will carry you here in my heart. You'll remind me that come what may, I know the way. I hope you will take some extra time this coming week to examine what is actually fueling your journey towards a healthier you. The closer you can get to your purpose, the closer you get to your life's purpose, your destiny. So take 10 to 15 minutes of quiet time each day during the next week to focus on this and do a little soul searching. Write in a journal, draw some pictures, sort through your memories whatever it takes. This is by far the most important part of the journey so far, so do not take this part lightly. In fact, as soon as this podcast is over, write down exactly the things that popped into your head and continue from these thoughts during the coming week. Then, find a way to use these as a constant reminder. For example, it could be a picture of someone or an object that you carry with you each day to remind yourself when you know that you're losing your footing just a little bit. And by finding the one thing that will fuel up your tank, you will have created the most solid foundation for living your healthier lifestyle. Good luck. I'll see you back here next week for secret number four. I'm Justin Flinner. Live well, love well, and be well. If you are enjoying our podcast series, please leave us a comment on our website or on our Facebook page and let us know how it has helped you along your journey. We love to hear feedback and we love to interact with the people who are listening, the people like you. We also have a great newsletter that you can be a part of that contains announcements about upcoming events as well as discounts on our services. Check out our website at www.mymetromedicine.com. Or find us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you name it. Just search for My Metro Medicine. We'd love to have you join us. See you next time.